What's going on everybody? Jeff here and I'm at the fire station this evening. Tonight is my duty night and a lot of people always ask me about, about my engine, about what I do when I'm here and I figured what better to do than now, give you guys a quick tour of my engine. So let's take a look. So here it is. First thing you'll see right here, what are these? These are our cross lays. We got two inch and three quarter, 150 foot cross lays. One's facing out this side of the uh, engine in case there's a fire on this side of where we park. This one's actually faced out the other side of the engine. We'll go take a look at that on the other side momentarily. We'll go check that out. Got a compartment here full of some extra um, uh, just throw lines to get in there for extensions. And this one's full of all, all of our adapters, our Ys, our Siamese, our attic connectors in order to go down into uh, you can drop these through like either up through floors or into down into uh, cellars like at the cellar nozzle and it spins it goes down the water pressure spins it around and get to fires that you normally can't get to it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool device uh, I've never actually used one in the real world but I've used it in practice just not in actually a fire but and in this compartment back here it's a tools compartment you've got things like our pickhead axe our sledgehammer. Here's our big easy. This look at this guy is to break into cars. People will lock their keys into cars. Uh, here's our hydro ram. This is a beast that opens up uh, opens up doors, things like that uh, through hydraulics. It's pretty cool piece of equipment. Some lock cutters, things like that. Here is the officer's compartment. This is where the engine or excuse me, the driver's compartment. Here's where the engine driver keeps all of his gear. And there's also a flashlight in there. His BA. There's some. Road cones down there in the back, some flares, some caution tape, things of that sort. Here's the main bulk line of our hose. What do you got here? You got this. This is something that not many of the county pieces have. Actually, I don't think any of them have it, but we specifically set up a 400 foot, inch and three quarter section of hose to run into fires because this is nice. You can get around other uh, vehicles if you're like second do or something like that. You can get around other vehicles. Still pulling your own line and uh, not have to rely on other people's uh, lines on their engines when you get there because we got a nice long one. Uh, here's our some of our uh, three foot line, or excuse me, our three inch line, not our three foot line. I think it's 500 of our three inch line. We got 2,000 total of our four inch line. This is actually our supply line. That's why you, you drop this down, it's connected to a humat. This connects right to a fire hydrant. Run this out. You obviously don't use all the line all the time. What you do is wherever it uh, pays out to, you pretty much you jump out, you'll pull this, wrap it around something, wrap it around the hydrant, drive, it'll pay out up until you get to the, uh, to the where you need to go. You stop, disconnect that last piece, and then the last piece gets connected into the engine, so that's how you pay out there. Then we've also got some, some of our two inch line and some more of our three inch line here as well for extra, extra support. There, uh, uh, this is our, um, it was a smooth bore nozzle versus a, a stream nozzle, or a stream fog nozzle, or a fog nozzle, excuse me. Um, different applications that you want to do with them in the fire, but that's what that is. Uh, I got a couple hidden pike poles over here. These are some nice, these are nice long ones. I'll pull one of these out for you right now. This is our, where we store these things, they're like roof hooks, things like that. Pretty long. I think it's a, I think it's a six foot one. No, maybe not. No, this isn't quite the six foot one. We have a six foot one on here as well, but it's not that one in particular. I just got to remember to come back here and actually close this up all the way when I'm done. Here is some ladders. Here's actually an attic ladder hidden in this little compartment. It comes out. It unfolds into a ladder, which is which is nice. Uh, we have an 18 and a 24 foot ladder connected right here to the side of the engine. So you just go on, grab them off, pull them, and move. We got two of these guys. These guys in here, let's see if I can get to an angle where you can actually see it. These are what they call, you can see there's some hose in there. They're called standpipe racks. And they're meant to deploy, basically. I'd come up here, I would unclick them, I'd deploy it down to my shoulder, grab it, and just walk in. And it's for high-rise buildings. They deploy and you connect them straight to the standpipe racks. If you ever go to a stairwell into an apartment building, next time you go there, go, to, go into the stairwells and look for the big, and look for the big, it's in like the corner uh, of the building. It's just like a big pipe. It's got the little, you know, spinny nozzles on it, like spinny nozzles. You look like you'd open it up. That's where the standpipe racks all would connect to. But we got two of those. There's a backup standpipe rack. This is actually one, it's got a gated Y on it. And what the gated Y does is, uh, I can't show you the gated Y. It's a connector that would allow for the second standpipe rack to come off it if you want. You'd actually connect this. Here we go, let's see if you can. See if I can 
Get an angle that you guys can see this thing at or not. This is one of the, the output valves. This one's already connected to the other one. And then this is your intake and I have two outputs. So you can in theory get two different Hose is running off of the same. So for you guys, when I was putting the standpipe rack away, I accidentally turned off the camera and didn't realize it. So what I've done, I gotta show you guys some of this stuff again, but I pulled the standpipe like down so you guys can actually see it a little bit better. So in here, it's just like, it's like a container. Here's the gated wire I was talking about. It's, right, undo it here. So right here, it's got your in input right here is coming from your supply line and you'll have two outputs and you can turn them on or off but it's so you can go connect an extra additional hose which makes things life a lot easier for you when you're you know on a on a working fire ground you want to be able to have as much water flowing as you possibly can um as well as in this container here you got some kits are we got some fire extinguishers yeah we carry fire extinguishers too as well as hose lines but you got you know three different fire extinguishers in here toolbox smoke detector kits our ALS car is on its way back in, trying to get in here. Um, some extra uh, officer bags. We always have extra cylinders and stuff on here, as you can see. There's a couple of pockets of these guys. Extra cylinders. That's where the standby bracket goes. Got to put it back when I'm when I'm done making this video. And then in here, very important. You got some rope bags. You got water, which is always important to have water at fire ground. Some more tape. Some flares. And I gotta get out of the way while the engine comes back in. Or excuse me, while the ambulance comes back in. And I'll pick up later and show you guys more up top. There is some stuff up top as well as what's inside. All right, so you might notice the uh, lighting in here changed a little bit. It's been a little while since I recorded the first part of the video. We got hit out on a couple calls and things like that. But let's finish this tour. Uh, basically, on this side of the world, I just hit a button, take a picture, but that's all good. This side of the world, you got another uh, piece of the sh uh, short shot uh, four inch hose in here. I don't know if you can see it that well. It's not focusing too well. There's also a Halligan bar uh, in there. There's the other side of the the cross lays that I was talking about. For some reason, the autofocus is not working. There we go, autofocus. Other side of the cross lays we got going on over here. Front of the engine. We got this is one of some of our intake valves for a front intake. Uh, is where that wraps up into. In case you. Uh, Go straight up into the, the hydrant. If you nose it right into the hydrant, you can use this intake right here to get your water to the engine. Uh, we got some tools thrown around in here as well, another hydrant wrench. Uh, amazingly, these things look like they'd come flying out of here. They don't, they stay on pretty well. Here's actually a bumper line. Um, it's uh, just a shorter line, but it can get some, get the job done with you know smaller things. But what we said we're gonna do today, or right now I mean, is we're going up to the, the roof. I'll show you what's up there. So we gotta do the climb first. I can't see too well that I'm... Well, let me try this again. As I was climbing, I hit the uh, hit the button on the side of this thing. So basically, I'm climbing up the side of the engine right now. And I got to be careful. We're in the engine bay. So it's uh, not the tallest ceiling in the world, as you can see. I'm going to need to be careful when doing this. But basically, up here, what do we have? Is This is the hose lines I showed you from the back end earlier. Also, over here is where the stuff gets, gets fun. We got some lights. We got some, that's a, a drafting uh, unit meant for lakes and things like that. We got shovels, tools, um, a strainer, uh, in case the lake is really sedimenty and all that fun stuff. Here's our deck gun. Deck gun's kind of cool because it works from, let's see if I can get a good angle on this. It works so that you can, uh, you know, let's, let's show you what I can actually show you from here. It's turned, oh wait, it's not normally turned, but pretty much you see it. See it working here? And you can't really do too much with it until I raise this baby up to, to where it needs to be. Let me see if I can get my camera in a position where you can still see that. I'm not sure I actually, I'm not sure I can one-handed hold this thing as well as put this deck gun into position, but let me get this deck gun up and running and get you guys there. Okay. 
All right. So, don't know how much that was actually caught on camera, but we'll go through it anyway. So I've raised the deck gun up, as you can see here. Deck gun is in a position where I can crank this handle, aim it up and down. I can unlock the side lock so I can turn it side to side. It gives you um, a nice high power, nice high power stream right from the engine that you can really put some fire out with. But anyways, this, is my engine. Oh, there's some hard sleep right there as well. I didn't show that. Um, just a basic walk through the engine. Figure people were asking. I wanted to show everybody, kind of uh, let them know what's in here. Uh, if you like more videos like these, let me know. I would love to run through more of this stuff. We got some stuff inside still. It's not quite as exciting as everything, all the pieces of equipment that are out here. I'll go through anything here at the firehouse that you guys want me to. So you guys let me know and stay tuned for next time.